Hello all, in this short lecture we are going to discuss what is the difference between fundamental rights, fundamental duties and directive principles of state policy. As these areas are very important for your examination, here in this lecture we are going to have some basic idea about these three areas in polity. So first let us start with fundamental rights, before that we have to know while framing the constitution, the makers of the constitution has to keep two in mind. One is they have to protect the rights of the citizens that is for citizens, second for government. So sorry, it is T for government. So constitution makers has to keep two stakeholders in their mind, one is citizen, the other one is government. So, Fundamental rights and fundamental duties are for citizens, not for the government. DPSP is for government. So, first let us see fundamental rights. Now, what are fundamental rights or what is fundamental right? As you know, the constitution is the basic law of the land and it is a rule book in a country where we have to derive all our duties and rights from this book. So, fundamental rights, the meaning is fundamental which is very basic in nature. So, these fundamental rights are very important for the citizens. Now, why are fundamental rights are so important? In order to understand these fundamental rights, you should know first what is a right. Basically, a right or a rights are classified into two types, fundamental rights, legal rights. In order to understand fundamental rights, first you have to understand what is a legal right. Now, if you see the hierarchy of judiciary in India, you have Supreme Court, you have High Court, you have District Courts, you have a District Court. Now let us see what is the difference between fundamental and legal right. Now, in case of a legal right, if a person's legal right is curtailed, he or she has a has to move to district court, then high court, then supreme court. They cannot move to supreme court directly. Similarly, if a person's rights or fundamental rights are violated, he has the right to move to high court or supreme court directly. So first, let us understand what is a legal right. Now let us compare what is the difference between legal right and fundamental right. If you see the legal right, Take one case study, take one case study here. Mr. X has two children, one daughter, one son. While distributing his property, he has given 75 percent share to son, 25 percent share to daughter. So now she asked her father, on what basis you have divided this? as we have the Indian mentality and these kind of biological differences, they have the marriage and etcetera, etcetera, use some other customs which I do not want to take here, leave it. Now, whatever be the reason, here injustice happened to a woman, right. So, here based on this distribution, she has to approach a court in order to get justice. Here in case of legal right, she cannot move to Supreme Court or High Court directly. In the first instance, she has to move to District Court. Then on by way of appeal, she has to move to high court, then by the way of appeal, she has to move to supreme court. Means in the case of uh, this legal scenario or legal right scenario, she cannot move to high court or supreme court directly, even though biological differences. Coming to a fundamental right, same scenario, male, female, male, female. Now they both want to go to a temple, but in a temple male was allowed, female was restricted on the basis of biological. As you know right to religion is your fundamental right, you cannot prevent anyone to enter into the temple. So here in this scenario her fundamental right is curtailed, in this movement or in this scenario she, ha she can move to high court or supreme court directly. So, if a person's fundamental right is curtailed, the victim has the move, victim has the right to move to Supreme Court or High Court directly. So these fundamental rights are very important for human development and for human welfare. 
the constitution has given these fundamental rights for the citizens of the country. So, this is the importance article 14 right to freedom and all right to equality and other articles you have. So, all these are fundamental rights. So, article 32 and 226 clearly says if a person's fundamental rights are curtailed they have the right to move to supreme court or high court directly. Under article 32 they can move to supreme court under article 226 they can move to high court. Now, this is a basic introduction about fundamental rights. Now, let us see fundamental duties. So, when you have a right automatically you will have a certain duties to perform. When you have the right to expend your parents wealth, it is your duty to take care of your parents, right. So, it is a duty as a citizen of the country you have to perform certain duties. What are the types of duties? So, as a citizen of the country you have to respect the constitution, you have to respect national flag, national anthem to protect environment, compassion towards living organisms and protection of national monuments all these comes under this category. So, fundamental duties are the duties of a citizens. Now, DPSP. So, DPSPs are not for the individual citizens, but whoever be in power whether it is a state government or central government while framing any policy, while framing any policy they have to follow the instructions given by the constitution. If you elaborate DPSP, what is DPSP? Directive principles of state policy, just understand the essence of the meaning. Directions, principles, state policy means while framing any policy, the state has to keep certain directions in its mind. State in the sense, the leaders, the lawmakers, whoever be in the power, while framing any law, any policy they have to keep these instructions in their mind. So, DPSP, the common theme in DPSP is welfare, that is the reason why India is a welfare state. So, DPSP directive principles of state policy is for government, fundamental duties and fundamental rights are for citizens like us. So, hope you are clear with these doubts in this video, thank you, thanks for watching.